What is up guys, Satan here from GGWP Tech bringing you another review of the GTX 1660 Super from Galaxy Philippines. We're all expecting that this would overshadow the GTX 1660 Ti that was previously released by NVIDIA. Uh, this is actually a yes but actually no uh, based on our hypothesis and our benchmarks later on this video. The GTX 1660 Super from Galax features this simple backplate design, the generous amounts of ports, namely the DVI-D, the HDMI, and the DisplayPort. It actually also features the standard two-fan design that complements well with the huge heatsink that this card comes with. Looking good so far with the aesthetics of this Galax card, um, now we want to see how it pits against the 1660 Ti on 1080p gaming on our gaming rig. Based on our benchmarks, the two cards actually come close together. There are some cases that the Ti does better than the 1660 Super, but most of the time the two cards sit on maybe a margin of 1-2 to two frames on our benchmark games. Even on the thermals, the two cards come really close together and I think the huge heatsink from this card helps even with the standard 2 fan design and the margin between the two cards the 1660 Ti and the 1660 Super are too close together to tell if one is different from the same. Overall the 1660 Super from Galax is actually a good buy for anyone trying to build a new PC these days. And if you're also trying to retire your old GTX 1050, 1050 Ti, GTX 1060, or if you have previous generation cards, this is actually a perfect buy for you guys. Do keep in mind that this new generation of GTX cards actually do well on streaming programs even without bearing the RTX titles. If you are streaming, the new NVENC encoder actually does extremely well with the GTX 1660 Super, GTX 1660 Ti, or any GTX generation of cards released with RTX cards these days. 